Hello boys and girls. Today we're going to do a mini lesson about counting by tens. Sometimes we call that skip counting. All right, so today we have our hundreds chart here to give us a little bit of help. And you'll notice that our hundreds chart here goes from the left side to the right. The same direction that we read in, isn't it? If you remember, we had a hundred chart in our classroom that started in the top left-hand corner and then it went down. So it was almost organized like 10 sticks, wasn't it? Well, the one I'm looking at today goes from left to right. Now, if you notice, I'm going to circle the numbers that I say when I skip count by 10 and you're going to see something that's the same about all the numbers I say. You can say the numbers along with me because I bet you're ready to. Here we go. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, and here it is, 100. Boy, I don't have to say too much, and you're probably already thinking about what is the same with all these numbers. When we're counting by tens, all of the numbers are on the right-hand side here, aren't they? Yep. That's because this represents nine numbers, and this is the tenth. Then we have nine more numbers, and this is the tenth. So they're lined up in a column right over here. Another tool we have that you probably are thinking about right now is our abacus. Let me grab that. Yeah, remember our colorful abacus? We can also use this to help us count by tens. All right, I'm going to start with all the beads on this side, and I'm going to slide them towards me as I count by tens. Maybe first I should count just to double check how many beads are in a row. Let's count them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. You'll notice that all these rows of beads have the same size of beads and look at they're the same length. That's because there's ten in each of those rows. So when I count these, I can just count them by groups of ten. Here we go. Ten. 20, 30, oh, you're getting ahead of me, aren't you? 40, 50, that was halfway to 100. Let's keep going. 60, 70, 80, 90, and here's the big one, 100. We just counted by tens again, didn't we? Sometimes when I look at my hundreds chart, I notice how it reminds me of my abacus. Sometimes, boys and girls, I think about taking my other abacus and writing the numbers right on them, just so that we could make that connection. But then I keep changing my mind, thinking, well, then some of the numbers would be upside down sometimes. I don't know, one of these days I might do it. All right, well, now we're going to record these numbers, counting by 10, on our worksheet for today. And I am going to upload this onto the same page on, in our Schoology as this video. So you could do this on your own either with me now or afterwards. All right, these little puppies here are wholly assigned just waiting for us to write the numbers. How about this time I say the number and you repeat after me. Here we go. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, oops, I needed to slow down, didn't I? 90, here we are, 100. Good, you repeated after me for all of those, didn't you? Do you think it's time for me to repeat after you? All right, I'm gonna call on some of you and you tell me what I should write next. First, I'm gonna move up our paper just a little bit so I have a little bit better writing surface. Let's see if that works for us. I think it should. All right, ready? I think I'm going to start by picking on the boys this time. Let's do that. 
All right, Hunter B. Yep, 10. Hunter C, good job, 20. Tyler, what comes next? 30, good, you said it so clearly, I was able to repeat right after you. All right, Salvatore, what's after 30? You're right, it's 40. All right, looks like we're up to Lou. Yes, sir, it's 50. What's that, Lou? You're right, 50 is halfway to 100. Good job. All right, Luigi, what comes after 50? Yes, sir, 60 is the number. After 60, Jason? 70, that's like seven dimes, seven groups of 10. Jacob K., I bet you you could tell me what comes next. Yes, it's 80. There we go, an eight and then a zero. All right, after Jacob, looks like it's Reed's turn. Yes, Reed, it's 90, a nine and a zero. Oh, our lucky person today is Kaden. Kaden, what's next? 100, good, one, zero, zero. Oh, I know I didn't get to all of you boys this time, did I? Do one of you want a challenge? Do you know what we would do after 100? Is she, what would it be? Yes, sir, it would be 110. It's almost like we'd start over again, but we'd say 100 first, and then the next number. If you wanted to, you could go through your paper and you could write a one in front of these. That would be like putting 100 in the 100 spot. You could do that. But don't tell the first grade teacher because she probably wants to tell you that next year. All right, boys and girls, thank you for practicing counting by tens and writing all the way to 110 by tens. Have a good night.